Hey, so today we're going to paint some underglaze onto a leather hard, just starting to get chalky object. This already has blue and white slip on it. I painted one coat of underglaze on it already. Um, I thought the camera was rolling and it was not. Um, that's time number three. Um, but I still have some underglaze to paint for the eyes and the nose, and then I'll do another coat quickly on the 19 on the belly there. So when I put this down to paint it, because the mass is so split between the tail and the body, I'll rest the tail on my legs and hold the back of the body with my hands. Okay, pretty straightforward to put it on uh, leather hard clay. Um, it will be a little less absorbent, so you'll be able to move it around a little bit more and try and maintain that wet edge of the underglaze as you're using it. In this segment, I'll be applying underglaze to bone dry clay. So the main difference we're gonna notice here is that the underglaze is going to soak in quite a bit faster. Um, it's a little harder to maintain that wet edge like I could do when it was on greenware. Um, I'm using primarily Amico lugs and some Amico velvets for this. Um, one other thing that you may notice as you're doing it is if you've got areas of fine texture, they may appear to cover over at first, but they will typically kind of show back up as the underglaze soaks in. You also want to be really careful as you're doing this because you're adding moisture to the bone dry clay and that can lead to um, pieces cracking or breaking, especially if they're delicate. The benefit to painting the underglaze on prior to doing the firing is that if you have any touch-ups or you want to add another layer of color in, in textures, you can um, paint on and then wipe that second layer off without removing the first layer that's been fired on. There is no need to fire um, underglaze onto bisque though prior to adding the clear glaze if you want to have it clear.
Occasionally, you may want a color that's different than what's in the containers. Um, and I've been being careful to wash my brush out between so I don't contaminate one color with another. If you'd like to mix a color, you can just do it right on the um, whiteboard and do a small enough amount that you're not wasting much material, but um, enough that you'll have what you need for the area that you want to paint. Also notice I'm drying my brush off between every time I get it wet. Notice I'm drying my brush off every time I get it wet as well. So I'm mixing a little blue-green here that I'll use for the eye color. So now we're going to apply some underglaze to bisqueware. Um, this is a red earthenware clay um, that's been fired once and will get fired one more time. And I'm just going to paint a black rectangle on this. Um, it's kind of a house shape, so I'll make this look a little bit like a door. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. Fairly minimal design, but I think it's going to work really well, especially when the clay darkens up a bit. Application went smoothly. I would say that it absorbs a little bit faster than it did on the leather hard clay, which I would expect. Um, so it's a little harder to keep a wet edge as you're painting shapes or designs. Um, <clears throat> I put on a couple of different coats as well and just dip the brush more frequently.